Penn State coming in for the big game tonight with number one Ohio State. There's a nervous roar over uh, Beaver Stadium and outside. LeVar Arrington is on set. LeVar, we always ask the players, there's nothing like this. You got the number one team and a big opportunity ahead here in about an hour. Let me tell you something. I played here for three years, three great years at Penn State, and I never had the opportunity to play this caliber of a game at this time of the day. This is the, the big show. <laughs> this is the big show. If you can't get excited for this, I'll tell you what, you don't need to be putting on your pads today. There it is, Anthony Morelli. He's a key He's guy tonight, first one. and you can see it's emotion. I mean, this is not Buffalo Week here, guys, all right? <laughs> I know they all count the same, but <laughs> this is uh, not the, this ain't the bison in here. Hey, that's a good sign when your quarterback get off the bus, and he's look like he's fired up. So that's a good sign. <laughs> we need control of emotion. Yeah. Coach control is ready. Emotion, coach. Get that look. <laughs> Uh-oh, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's just got that feel to it. I mean, Lamar, you sweat. played Ohio State when they were number one, but you, know you played what? them they at Columbus. They made me a number two pick. What's that? So I feel very confident about tonight. They made me a number two pick in the draft. So I feel very confident about the game tonight against Ohio State and Happy Valley. You know, you know we had some good times with Ohio State. <laughs> Didn't we? Oh, some great times. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's always tough when you play them on their side of the field. And, and you, you know what? House. We got them home tonight, and I think that that is the biggest determinant factor. If the fans get involved, I think that that'll give the guys enough energy to, to draw from it. I, it could carry. It could carry to a great win today. Lavar Arrington has joined us on set as we're Penn, watching Penn State. There's Ron Vanderlinden. He's the linebacker coach and a good one. Let's talk about the linebackers a little bit because they're huge. You've got. Maybe the best core. We're going to do a feature on this later, but let's talk about Sean Lee, Dan Connor, and then you go over to the other side. You've got James Laurinaitis, Marcus Freeman. I mean, you're not going to find a better linebacking tandem on either side in the country in this game tonight. Big well, time. last time I checked, <laughs> <laughs> linebacker you was founded in state. The die was cast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The cornerstones were were laid by some great players. And the tradition has continued and carried on for years and years. And I don't think that saying linebacking cores from another school <laughs> is even worth talking about at this point in time. At this juncture, let's focus on Dan Connor and Sean Lee and the rest of those guys because this is linebacker you. And maybe I am a little biased, but you know what? We've earned it. Now, that was well spoken. See, you don't understand. Jed is an Ohio State Buckeye, oh, he, so he's dying up there. So I am like tickling Killing inside you. that you set him straight real quick. No, just, he's just, just born in history. Ohio. Just look at the history. You know, I, I don't have to talk trash about it or anything like that. I don't want anybody to have any hard feelings, but this is linebacker you. Well, it doesn't though. What, doesn't that get you all fired up though when you you know you hear maybe about the other guy and say, all right, well this is the tradition we have here and you uphold it, right? Well, you know what I'm it's it's like I love dogs and and I have game dogs but I don't do what Michael Vick does with my game dogs. I just respect them and, and love them for what they're they're gotcha. capable of doing. And you know what? Those dogs don't focus on other dogs. They are focused in on their own inner strength. They don't worry. If they walk past another dog, they're not trying to bite the dog or anything like that. You know why? Because they know what they're capable of doing. And that is the same case here with these linebackers for Penn State. These linebackers know what they're capable of doing. So they're not worried about what, what Ohio State has on their linebacking court. They are worried about going out there and having the best possible showing that they possibly can have so that this team can win a monumental victory tonight. All right, let's have Thank a look at uh, <laughs> and the fancy LeVar here. Uh, you played with a great one. He's one of the greatest high school players I've ever seen in McKeesport, that Brandon Short. There's the LeVar Lee. I guess you just have to fly over him now and then, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. That was a great, great time in my, my life, great time in my career. I uh, really enjoyed playing here, and it's, it's great to be able to be at a point where I can look back and, and really, you know, mm. kind of look at the guy like, you know, that's just, did, did your thing when you were here. You know, it, mean, it means something. Well, I know you had a little injury, a little setback. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? You're healthy? Everything's all right? I feel really right? good. You know, I feel really good, and uh, where I'm at now, I've, I've done so many things just just 
piggybacking off of the greats of the past, like the two distinguished gentlemen that are sitting here tonight. And it's one of those things where I'll have to weigh out everything. You know, I'm healthy enough to come back and make a comeback, but I have to weigh out if that's something that I really want to do at this point because I'm happy with the things I'm doing now. Good. That's that's good to that's hear. That's the most important that's thing. That's the most that, important that thing. That you're healthy. You got a chance to walk away from the oh, game yeah. away, and now you can make the decision if you want to do it. Uh, or they not. gave me they gave me a little bit of bread to be able to do that too. <laughs> right. You know, sometimes you got to have the things to cook the, the cake and cook the bread yes. to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And and fortunately enough. The times that I had here in Happy Valley allotted me the opportunity to really take a great look at where I'm at in, in my life and what I'd like to do career-wise, whether it be football or, or something else. Well, also, uh, maybe 10 years from now, it'll be a great trivia question, but you and Courtney Brown, the only guys to ever go 1-2 from the same school in the same year in the NFL draft. Pretty darn good. Well, we were actually second, but you know what? The, they, they said Irvin Fryer and, and another guy out of Nebraska, but I think it was a different league or something to that effect, but still. That's quite a feat, quite an accomplishment to have two guys take those first two, two uh, spots in, in the NFL draft. Do you have any game that kind of stands out? I mean, you mentioned you didn't really get an opportunity on this kind of stage in prime time at 8 o'clock, but is there any kind of game that you remember, you know, that you were in that just was just an unbelievable memory that you kind of carry around? Uh, Probably a couple that come to mind uh, right off the bat. I would have to say the win in Purdue. It was, it was a tough game, and Drew Brees was was Mr. Everything, and and we were in 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 Indiana, and he was driving them to win the game, and and we had to step up and and make some big plays to to win that game. I think that that game kind of sticks out to me, and I think also the the pit game. You know, because it, it was such a roller coaster ride for me in that game. You know, I was up making a good play, then I'm down because of what happened with the punter, and then, then I'm up again with an interception, then I'm down again because I drop an interception, they come back and make a big play to get field goal range, then I block the field goal to keep them from tying the game. So, and we ended up winning that game uh, by three points. So I think those two probably are, are, are the biggest, and obviously the Alamo Bowl, to send Jerry Sandusky out with, with, a, right. with a shutout. And also game. getting pit when you're from North Hills, right? Oh, uh, your hometown, you can't go home. And uh, I went home and we lost to North Allegheny last <laughs> night <laughs> oh, in the North oh. Bowl. That's the biggest game of our season when we yeah. lost. But you know what? Those guys really fought their their hearts out. So that's yeah. all you can ask for. It, it's good to see you healthy, hey, it's smiling. Good to see you guys, it's still see you, good to see you going yeah. back and spend time with your high school. Oh yeah, those oh, things yeah. are important. It's Makes, good to see yeah. you back here at Penn State. You oh. belong here. Uh, you know what? I believe that, and that's why. <laughs> I'm here. Yep. That's well, why I'm here. So it's great to be up here with you guys. One of the great impact players on the defensive side in school history and one of the uh, great, uh, really, the guy that helped cast the die linebacker you and keep the tradition going. It's great to see you. Thank uh, well, you. Thank you. Good to see you guys.